What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're checking out a brand new game that's out in early access and it is $8 in Tycoon. We got, uh, we just got done doing Tavern Management Simulator. Now we're doing in Tycoon and in a couple of weeks there's going to be a game called Ale and Tavern. It seems like every single year there's two or three of these kinds of games. But for $8, how could I pass it up? So I'm going to check it out. Let me know if you like it in the comment section down below. Let's hop on to it if you want to see some more. Oh, let me know. Disasters. Tutorials. Unlimited gold. No, no. Unlock all. No. Bob's in. No. The Bearded Clam. New game. I'm for it. Okay. So let's pause this. Tutorials. Build tavern room. Okay. Tavern. We have tavern and table. Ah. Nailed it. Place table. Okay. We're like magic. I like this though. This little low end view. Hire a waitress. Must I? Sure. Is she easy on the eyes or sturdy in the buttocks? We just hire? Okay. Easel day. Oh, hello, Easel day. Workload? <laughs> oh, she's going to take a load, all right. All right. Reach level two. Build kitchen room. Build kitchen room. All right. Looks like I have to gain a level. Looks like we're level one up here. Click to open progression panel. Ah, so here requires level two. Objects, 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 bar, kitchen. Pie oven. Oh, we got a customer. Of course he's gonna sit at the table by himself. The lone table. What a jerk face. Tell you what, how much cash do we have? We have 50 gold, 50 gilda. Go ahead and have two tables there. Give a waitress lass a little something to do. He's like, we got happiness at 60%, population, effects population 53%. Oh, okay. It sounds like a bunch of Asians trying to talk like Sims. No offense. Hashtag no hate. kind of going through some of the uh just clicking on buttons here got a nightstand we have candles oh can we put candles ah we can put them in sconces interesting got mirrors they're all 100 100 coin i'm good happiness is going up happiness is at 100 percent. my goodness and 124 gold we're moving on up Got three ladies at the at the bar, just getting hammered. At a girl. All right. Oh, we can pick up little gold coins that are on the uh, table. Little tips. Like we have wine casks. Now, when it comes to, do we have to like order more like wine? Do I have to keep an inventory? I don't think I have have to keep an inventory. I just keep on playing. Living the dream, living the life. Staff, statistics. Oh. In overall economy, customers, revenue, expenses. Can I have the re re return on investment here? Everybody's happy. Why wouldn't they be? I do like the day night cycles. Look at this. We're an inn on the creek. I hope it doesn't flood. Otherwise, we are so screwed. Bearded clam. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. You know what? Let's build ourselves another table. So we can have more customers. More customers means, more, means uh, you know, more money. And that's math. <laughs> it's quaint, though. 
We're almost at level two. Then we can get a kitchen level. And we start serving them swine. That's right. Get a couple sausages in there. Maybe some soup. At least some, some hot cheese and bread. Hot cheese, bread, hot cheese, bread. Uh oh. Oh, okay, so we sweep that up. Nice. Do we get any X? I think we got a little bit extra XP. Ooh! Bearded Clan just leveled up. All right. Staff limit? Okay. Level point? Level point. Is there research in this? So they give you a tutorial, but they don't really give you a tutorial. It's like, hey, kitchen. Build. Uh, okay. There we go. Kitchen, it is. Counter. Prepared dishes are placed here. The cooks put food here and the waitress comes and takes it. All right. Counters might seem complex. Counters act as a transition point. Food and drinks are gathered here and then served to tables. Okay. When placed in a counter, you will notice a circular area around it. Food production stations within this area will gather here and the food will be distributed to the tables within this area. Oh. If a table is not within the area of the counter, customers at the table cannot be served. Oh no! Because the menu will be empty. Boo. Similarly, a food production station are not uh, within the counter's area. They won't be included in the menu and no food will be prepared there. If a connection is made with the counter, circular area will disappear and you will see a connection. A lot of like little tidbits. I like it. You can see the menus by selecting the counter and tables, the bar and mead dispenser. Objects are both counters and food production. Okay, okay. Yada, yada, yada. Wackity schmackity. End of day one. We made 65 guild. Of course, we have some losses in there because we have to purchase new things. Oh, so we... Oh. So we got reputation. Gain or lose reputation based on customer happiness. Fast service. Staff movement speed goes up. So we get tip chance 10%. All salaries, plus 30%. That's kind of a bummer. You know what? Let's skip this. I'm not, not going to pay her anymore. What are, you, what are you silly? All right. How do we rotate this? No, that's not what I wanted. Move. Ah, right click. Right click is a ticket. All right, so this covers it, but that covers all those tables too. We need some space, some room to roam. And then we have a pot and that's connected to that. I like it. Now we have to hire a cook. Theron. Hello, Theron. We have a full blown tavern. And let me guess, that's the end of the tutorial. It is amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Now there is a sauna, so you can have a nice little Turkish bath in here if you so please. We have 199 coin. It looks like we have a mead dispenser now too. Ooh, baby. Tell you what, let's go. And we'll select here. Let's X out of that. Let's make it a little bit longer. And we'll get a mead dispenser, huh? Covers everything. And then we also add another table. Got some gilda. I mean, this tavern is flying. How we doing here? What's going on, chef? She getting overworked? Staff? Workload 50%? She's fine. She's fine. She's a sturdy gal. Everyone's really super duper happy. And of course, in the progression tab here, you can see everything that you unlock. Next one, we got a, a pie oven. Ooh, a bar. So we can extend the bar. A bread oven. Hot cheese, bread. Hot cheese, bread. Point. Oh, 
Got some gold on the counter. We can't leave any money on the table. It's our money. We've earned it. Looks like we got some soup, some stew of some kind. We got some throw up. Tis to be expected here. Tis to be expected. Oh, what's the matter? You didn't like the service? Huh? Huh? Uh-oh. Looks like a workload's getting a little be... be a little too much. She can only handle three tables. This guy's waiting for a drink. These guys are waiting for drinks. We got, we got glasses of wine over here, and it's going one at a time. Use both hands, ma'am. Both hands, ma'am. Looks like we're going to have to hire somebody else. Or not. Maybe people just need to be patient. There you are, miss. You know what? Let's. Oh, okay. Rewards. Level three. Amazing. Staff limit. Now we can hire another staff member, which we will do it with Calliope. Penelope. We have a bar, requires an unlock. Ah, so that's where the two points come into play. The pie oven. I like that. And we only have 355 coin. But a pie oven, I mean, that's the bee's me. Bee's knees to cast me out. We're doing it. We got two servers. Eight people were not a fan. One person was like, ow. Drink price is 30%. Customers, oh, let's take that. I'll take that. We'll spend a little bit of, we'll spend a couple points. Oh, and it changes for, for New Year's and Christmas. Oh, that's cool. I dig that. Hopefully for Halloween, we get like ghouls and ghosts and crap. Even though it's day three, which means. So it ends by the end of the day, summer, weather clear. Customer eat speed 10%, staff movement 15%. Nice. So it's the end of summer, but yet we're, we're we're dressed for Christmas. Come on, there, chef. Come on, chef. We got some. We got food to make. New Year's Eve ends in three days. Drink prices are thirty percent more. Customer sleep speed twenty percent. Ah, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. Okay. Let's expand. Could it be too much? That's for us to decide. Now, of course, we can only fit this many people at the bar. So we have to make sure. Oh, we, we can upgrade, though. Drinks are prepared here. Required a bartender to operate level two. 500 coins. Wine prices go up. Beer prices go up. Pouring duration goes down. Interesting. What if I click on this? Oh, and I can upgrade the mead dispenser too. Mead price goes up, pouring station. So if I click on all of these, oh, that is sensational. Soup prices, soup speeds. I mean, that's worth it. That's worth it alone. So you have all kinds of things you can upgrade and really just speed up the joint. Doing it that way, you probably don't have to hire another employee, which is probably better. I suppose. You know what? Let's speed time. Let's speed up time. Let's get this day over with, you know? I wonder if I I wonder if I can click on the Oh yes, look. Salary reduction movement speed. Hip chance. You can upgrade Easel Day. Let's upgrade her. Let's give her new legs. So to pick up the freaking pace. That's interesting too. So again, you don't have to hire new employees at a certain amount. You can upgrade your employees, including your bartenders. Oh, that is, that is, that's, that's hot. Tip chances, salary deduction, pouring speed. Just max out that pouring speed, dog. It's going to be awesome sauce.
Matter of fact, five hundred upgrade, mead upgrade, do one hundred and sixty. We're upgrading the mead, upgrading the mead, and we're not got an achievement. First improvements. Discount frenzy. I don't have enough points. Food price. Customers eat speed. All costs. Dang. Gold to reputation. Oh, so we can convert gold to reputage. I don't really care for any of these. All prices, 17%. Customer action speed, 13. Customer movement speed. Let's just skip that one. Let's just skip that one. <laughs> like, as of right now, this is kind of just like an idler. Nice idle tavern tycoon game. I can imagine this getting pretty hectic once you start unlocking a lot of this stuff. I, I dig that. We got bedrooms coming up here too. Level four, long tables, beds. I don't know if I want to have a bed right next to the tavern, you know? I don't think we can actually make new levels either, like get the stairs going. Got people who are getting upset. Hit me up with level four. I need to upgrade some people. Nice. The bearded clam. Level four. And we got some points. So let me see here. You. Movement speed. Get after it. You. Poor speed. Wonderful. You. Cooking speed. Boost that bad boy. Boost. Boost that bad boy. Bad boy. Nice. All right. So all those points are gone. We've unlocked beds. I don't think I care for it at the moment. Don't think I want that. But we also have more employees that we can hire, so we can get a bartender, housekeeper. Okay. So what if I were to tell you... I would like to expand there. Because... There. There. So we got this, which covers up most of that, most of that area. Okay. Gen gentle rains. Bed price, 50%. Bed object cost, 30%. Oh. Tax deduction. All salaries, 30%. That's kind of nice. But we'll skip that one for now. Look at all this gold on the table. Just leaving gold on the table. Hmm. A hundred and four dollars. I don't have that kind of cash on me. Uh, we gotta X this one out. We gotta destroy this. Yes, demolish. I do not have the coin. And we're making pretty good cash now. You know, this is okay to level up. Just really focus on the core values here. Now we do have a bedroom in the back. Oh, wait. Okay. So what if I were to do that? And we can have... Maybe like when we expand, we can ha start having a couple rooms here. We need a housekeeper, huh? $120. Yikes. Let's see what that does. Let's see if we get a little bit of a pick-me-up. Looks like everyone's still pretty happy. Good to see. Now see, I'm not going to lie. Me personally, I could sit here and watch this all day. Oh, just taking a nap. I didn't see how much that, uh, what she paid for that. I think like it was like 10 or 12 coins, some, some junk. Cheap, cheap night's sleep. Man, are you good? Oh, that's a housekeeper. Bed price, 50%. Okay, so we did something. Wealthy patrons, tip chance 10%, tip amount. Oh. You know what? We'll take that. Take that event. Take that event all day. 
We need cash. So it can't be like right up against the back end. Uh, how about there? And then for tables. It really throw everything off. Yeah, but like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, this is the radius. Put another table there. Huh? Just watching him sleep. <laughs> Housekeeping? <laughs> Housekeeping, want me flip pillow? <laughs> Housekeeping, want to play underneath your bed? Huh? The get out. <laughs> Can you imagine waking up? Time to go. Like, man, you're freaking me out. 1.6, we went from 1.3 in uh, tips to 1.6, 2.39. We got some rich, rich people up in here. I like it. 99% happiness. Our tavern is a bastion of the society. All right, so our losses are 190. That's mostly just, you know, payroll. We earned 394 after a nice day, and 204 is what we're left with. Nice. And that's math. Four customers were not happy. 39 were. Gentle rains. Blizzard coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I think I'm good. Drink prices are still nice, but how much to get up to 350? How much gold? Seventy-four gold, converted. Drink prices, customer sl uh, sleep speed, twenty percent. Let's go for it. It's snowing. Seven point five eight gold. Almost a level five. What happens when we get to level five? Pig roaster, a turkey roaster, a cabinet, cabinet. Think maybe we can move this out, but again, it's got to stay in the radius. Kind of nice to have a bigger kitchen. Maybe we can build the kitchen out this way and start expanding that away. For 120 gold, though. Eh, it's, 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 it'll be fine. Well, there's a chef here. We're building for the future. And plus, if I expand this way, this will cover more. Oh, I just thought I'm trying to think in like design aspects and crap. When I should be thinking of logistics. Just how easier it would be if everyone was actually in in the uh, the vicinity. All right, level five. Let's see here. Let's let's pause this. Easel day. Tip chances. Hmm. I don't know. How about you? Cooking speed, movement speed. Give us some movement speed. Power of the people. We're trying. I'm getting all sorts of achievements. Salary reduction. Let's do that. He's gonna he's a little expansive. Pouring speed. Boost that up. Oh, we can set nicknames for him? Bryson? Ah! Diesel Tavern. I am Diesel. Stop camera following. Oh, so we could we could follow this guy if we wanted to. Let's build out this way. 
Get ourselves another table. This. Can I move it? That's lame. That's so freaking lame. Why not? Why can't I just serve it? Oh, it's because it takes out a table. It takes out a uh, chair. Well, that's stupid. I have a question. 46.2. Nice, 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 nice. Total. We're spending, we gotta spend money to make money. And we're in the middle of a friggin' blizzard. Let's skip. Can I move this? Can I put it up against the wall here? Nope. Awesome. It's a little closer. This bothers me. <laughs> this really freaking bothers me. So how about we do this? Take these. And we'll move you to here. And then we'll take you and move you to here. Perfection. Practically perfect in every way. And it's still within there. Now hold on. Let's move this table out. And oh my god, it's all... It's the way it should be. It's practically perfect. And then we can expand over to the left over here. Perfect. Okay, good, good, good. We, we finally figured it out. Rejoice. We're, it's a packed house. We're serving pies, stews. And now, since I forgot... Got a pie oven. Bread oven. Pig roaster. Oh, and it's a shame that we have to use the same requirements that we would to, like, upgrade our uh, staff to unlock, you know, the pig roaster. The turkey roaster. I would love to have a, a, a hawk. A hawk of ham. Some swans. But I do like the season changes. I do like the day-night cycle. And just the, the logistics of all this, like the, everything has to be within the vicinity. We have to have speedy waitresses. Seems like people are getting upset. We got to boost these. We got we to gotta boost these ladies up. You know what I'm saying? Eleven customers were dissatisfied. That's not good. Wealthy patrons, 150. Take that out. We'll take, I'll take that. Now, when it comes to staff, <laughs> workload is pretty up there. Cook, 74. Housekeeper, not so much. Yeah, no kidding. How about... And we have two rooms now. Hey man, oh god, are you are you all right, ma'am? It's a pretty nifty animation. Of course, we also were moving things around, so they probably weren't happy about that either. Looks like we got two things to pour here. Workload's pretty intense. I might have to hire another waitress. Can I hire another waitress? It's fifteen dollars a day. We'll hire another one. Bring everyone up to the happiness standard of the of, of what we should be what we should be at, you know? Looks like the bartender's serving up all them nice meats, cheeses, brews, meads. Now people are dropping the cash. 
Now we got idle people. We got chatty Cathy's over here. I like it. Upgrades, moving speed, nice, nice. Poppy, oh, lovely Poppy. And all of a sudden her workload is at 68% now too. Cool. But we're getting it done. Spreading out, spreading out the wealth, spreading out the workload. Till 84, 82% and then 72%. It's a busy, it's Christmas, listen, it's busy. It's a busy season. But more happy faces means more gold in our pockets. Oh, and the housekeeper cleaned up all the barf. Awesome. Boom. All right. We lost 501 coin because we were buying stuff. It's going to be okay. Tax reduction? Hmm. We'll skip on that one. Falling leaves? It was just a blizzard. It was just winter time. Falling leaves. Okay. Customer action speed is 26%. Tip amounts plus 66%. Food prices up. Drink prices up. You know what? I kind of like it. I kind of like fall. Ooh, look at this fancy pants looking guy. What's up there, player? Getting nobility in here, not just the swine of the entire land, you know? I'm gonna go a day without having to spend a single dime. Seems like everyone's getting a little happier. 97% happiness. That's what we want. That's what we need. That's what we ask for. That's what we would provide as a service. Now, you know what I don't see though? A latrine. No outhouses. Everyone's just crapping their pants over here. It's gross. It's so gross. No one's cleaning themselves. People have open wounds. They smell of sweat. Sweat, blood, poo. It just smells like a trout hatchery in here. And believe me, the stew in the pot, like the pie is helping. The pie is helping the smell, for sure. But dang. There we go. We're making, we're still making cheddar. Cheddar makes it better. No, you know what? I'm good. 210, fast service, staff movement speed. Well, this is kind of hot. All salaries minus 30? Or is that plus 30? I got to pay people more for this garbage? Who wants that? I'll skip. I just want to get to level six. I want ham hocks. I want food. I want to unlock a new pig roaster or hopefully they get enough, give me enough points. And I also noticed that in the bottom right, like it was like an awful noise came about and it's apparently like a uh, poppy's waiting for food to be made. Like, okay. So it does give you a couple indications, letting you know, like, hey, hey, tell the cook to get it together. And you're like, okay, okay, I will, I will, I will. <laughs> now it says experience 215, 220. What do we get experience from? Is it serving people or is it, you know, having things available? Ah, but the bearded clam is now ready. We can hire more staff and a pig roaster. 200 coin. We got that. Yes. Oh, cheese. Swans. Cooking speed. You really need to, they need to get boosted up. Those are rookie numbers. We got to bump those numbers up, my guy. How's it going, chef? Hello, children. We got a bathhouse now. Oh, got bathtubs, bathhouses. What? Let's have game rooms too. That's gonna be coming up here soon. 
A cellar. Oh, we can make our own. Oh, we can make our own cellar crates. Frozen, frozen food. Food crates. Sew crates. Wall decoration. Boar head. Ah, bear head. Everyone will like that. Look at that. Everyone's like, oh, look at the size of that bear head. Everyone's like that. Wolves. Very good. Falling leaves. Staff movement speed. All salaries are up 30%. Let's just settle down here for a second. Let's settle down here for a second. There we go. Pick up some of this gold. So far, this is an enjoyable game. For $8, you can sit here and idle away. Set up everything, and it all gets taken care of, except for picking up the tips. I'll give you a tip. I like the seasons changing. I like the action that's going on here. I do like that you can upgrade different uh, people. You can name them so you can have your friends in there. Boss them around. Tell them a little do something. Do something now or else. I like it. Calm, quaint, nothing too action packed. But yeah, you can really, really stack these things up and make them a wild, wild, a wild situation. You can actually fill this thing all the way back if you wanted to. You can make this the biggest tavern in the history of taverns long before taverns were that huge. We can turn this into our own medieval Dave and Busters if we want to. As a matter of fact, that sounds like a great idea. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below because that is going to be our video for today. This is nice. It's beautiful. And if you like it, let me know in the comment section down below. Sensational. Sorry, I'm just uh, I'm so enamored on clicking on things. But if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more, you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead and subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit the bell notification to be aware of all new content. Everyone, peace out, like, shout, y'all. And I'll check you out right here again in In Tycoon next time.